Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here again with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. Okay, it is time to make a clean, fresh start here. So, we are going to start Lesson 1 from Module 2. Alright, so, we now have Module 2, this is Grade 7, Module 2, Lesson Okay, here we go. Lesson one says opposite quantities combine to make zero. Okay, so in classwork, exercise one, positive and negative numbers review. It says with your partner, use the graphic organizer below to record what you know about positive and negative numbers. Add or remove statements during the whole class discussion. Okay, what do we know about positive numbers? They are greater than zero. We know about negative numbers. They're less than zero. These are some of the things I heard in class today. Um, these are two. To the right of zero on a number null, on a number line. And let's change colors here. Let's make that green. These are to the left of zero. So what else do we know? I can put some examples in here. Let's say negative 4, negative 2, 5. I'm using my mouse here instead of my pen. 8. That's better. Um, what else do we hear? Opposite. those are opposite positives, then these are opposite of negatives. Okay. Um, what else? Positive numbers can mean gain, increase, add, above. Negative can mean uh, lose, decrease, below, that kind of stuff. And they're both on a number line. Let me change that. They're both on the number line. Hashtag line. They're both on the number line. Um, another thing I heard in class was you can add them, you can subtract them, you can multiply them, you can divide them. It's true. Okay, and so on and so on. So let's move on here. Example two. Oh, example one was on the prior page. Let's go to that. That was exercise one. Oh, example one we did in class, introducing the integer game, so I'm not going to talk about that here. Okay, example two, counting up and counting down on the number line. Use the number line below to practice counting up and counting down. Count up starting at zero corresponds to positive numbers. And counting down starting at zero corresponds to negative Okay, in class I also heard whole numbers over here, which is true. Counting starting at zero and going positive is whole numbers, but starting at zero and counting negative does not mean whole numbers. That would be integers. So we did have a little discussion of counting number sets. Okay, 
So if I gave you the number, let's see, eight. And I said a negative eight. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, we always start at zero. And if I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we end up here at eight. Okay. If I go left, I will use red for left. Subtract. Negative one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We end up here at negative eight. Well, we know that the distance from here to here is eight units. Okay. And we know the distance from here to here is eight units. So therefore, the distances are equal. So it says here, where do you begin when locating a number on the number line? We start at zero. Okay. Start at zero. Okay. In class, we also discussed what negative and positive meant. And we reviewed from last year the absolute value symbol, which is two lines like this, and then putting a number in there. That means the absolute value of negative 8. And by definition, absolute value means distance from 0. So here's 0, here's negative 8, so that was a distance of 8. If we came over here and I said, what's the absolute value of 8? And you'd say, okay, here's 0, here's 8, the distance is 8, so the distance from 0 is also 8. So that we can simply say the absolute value of negative 8 equals the absolute value of 8, which equals 8. Okay? Distance from 0. Absolutely. Negatives, we usually say, left. And for positive, we move right. Eight units. Positive is right. Negative left. So B says, well, now what do you call the distance between a number and zero on a number line? And the answer is D. Absolute value. What is the relationship between 7 and negative 7? Um, their absolute values equals 7. That's one answer. Uh, in other words, they are the same distance from zero. Another thing we could say is they go in opposite directions because I stated earlier that if we move to the right, it's positive. And if we move to the left, it's Example three, here's a set of cards, and it says, what is the sum of the card value shown? Use the counting or on method. Use the counting on method on the provided number line to justify your answer. Okay. So, if I start with this now card here and I drew a five, let's say this was a deck of cards, we drew a five. We always start at zero, and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five units to the right, and I just end up there. Then I draw my negative five. Well, that means to start at five, I go one, two, three, four, five units to the left, and end up right here. Then we draw another card, we get negative four. We're starting at where we left off, which is at zero, 
and we're going to go left, one, two, three, four. And now we are at negative four. Okay? And then, finally, we're going to draw our fourth card. We're going to start at negative four. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We ended up at final position on the number line was so 5 minus 5 is 0. Minus 4 brings us to negative 4, and then negative 4 plus 8 is positive. What card or combination of cards would you need to go back to 0? Okay. There are infinite solutions to this because it said a combination of cards. I could use one card, I could use two cards, three cards, a full deck of cards, and 52 playing cards. And just keep going and going and going. So the simplest one was, how do I get back to zero from four? Well, I could just draw a negative four. Okay? Or I could have drawn a negative three and then a negative one. Okay? I could have drawn a negative 7, which would have gotten me to negative 3, and then drawn a positive 3. That would be a combination. So it goes on and on and on. Exercise 2, additive inverse. Use the number line to answer each of the following questions. So here's our number line. And... It says, how far is 7 from 0 and in which direction? Well, here's 0, here's 7. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it is 7 to the right of 0. What is the opposite of 7? In other words, if I started at 0 and went the, to the left, 7, then I would say that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I would say the opposite of 7 is 7. C. How far is negative 7 from 0 and in which direction? It is 7 to the Because if I started here at zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. B. Think back to our previous work. Explain how it used the counting on method. So the counting on method to represent the following. While playing the integer game, the first card selected is a 7, the second card is 7. Okay, so what would we do? Well, if we had a number line, let me go get one. Okay, there, magically a number line appeared. Thinking back to our previous work, okay, so we have the integer game. We first select a 7, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 is positive, so we went 7 to the right and got to 7. And then the second card we selected was negative 7. I'll change to red for negative. And that would put us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, back to where we started. So what does this tell us about the sum of 7 and its opposite negative 7? Well, that means move to the right 7. That means move to the left 7. And they're opposites, and the sum of the opposites... says, look at the curved arrows you drew for 7 and negative 7. What relationship exists between these two arrows that would support your claim about the sum of 7 and minus 7? Okay. The relationship that exists between the two, they are both the same distance from 0. They're just pointed in the opposite direction. Okay. In other words, what we could do is 
take this, which is here, and you can see it off starting at zero, ending at negative seven. Okay? Do you think this would hold true for the sum of any number and its opposites? Why? Well, let's take a look. I'm going to erase this now. And let's pick three. So if I go one, two, three, and then I switch to negatives, and I go negative one, negative two, negative three. And then I move that over here. And look what it does. It brings us to negative three and three. So three minus positive three to the right three, and then minus three to the left three brings us back to zero. So do you think this will hold true for the sum of any numbers in its opposite? The answer is yes, because the sum of opposites is zero. So let's write that. Because the sum of opposites is zero. Okay, so now we have a property. For every number a, there is a number negative a. So that a plus its negative of a equals zero, and negative a plus a equals zero. Okay, this is just in general, we're going to start seeing letters and math more and more and more, okay? A just represents some number. So if I make A 5, this A has to be 5, that A has to be 5. If I made it 20, that'd be 20, that'd be 20. So no matter what numbers we plug in, this will become true. That's what that means. So the additive inverse of a number is a number such that the sum of the two numbers is zero. The opposite of a number satisfies this definition. For example, the opposite of 3 is negative 3. And 3 plus its opposite equals 0. Therefore, negative 3 is the additive inverse of 3. So an additive inverse is any number we add to a number to get 0. Follow that? The additive inverse is any number we add to a given number to get 0. So if I chose 7, its additive inverse is negative 7. If I chose 100, its additive inverse is negative 1. Because the number and its additive inverse equals 0. Okay, so now there's this integer game that they're supposed to play using number line to practice counting on. Not going to do that. Okay, so there's a lesson summary. Add a positive number to a number by counting up from that number. Add a negative number to a number by counting down from that number. Well, adding a negative also means to subtract. An integer plus its opposite is zero. That's the additive inverse. The opposite of a number is called the additive inverse because the two numbers sum is zero. Okay, there's lesson one from module two. Do your problems.